my first child graduating and you know I was expecting all of the ceremony and everything and I was looking forward to it and the cake is the way we can celebrate at home. Once word got out on social media that Hannah's Bakery was honoring its seniors, other towns will have their seniors honored as well. Air Falls, Lake City, a lot of other communities are also requesting cakes from 15 graduates up to 250 graduates. Hannah said at least 10 schools could use these cakes as a way to celebrate the class of 2020. It's, it's awesome to see the people step up and support it their local pounds and any kids. While people continue to stop by to support the bakery, other communities are stepping up with donations so their kids are not left out. To me, it's not about dollar signs. For this businessman, there's only one thing that man put a smile on their face. And Gregory, Rich Chapman, the CCO Corner. If you would like to help honor a 2020 graduate, we have a link on WCCO.com where you can donate to make sure that each senior gets a cake. Chris, we've been to Hanisha's on our uh, late trip to Red Wing. That place is killer. I was just mentioning that uh, when we've been to Red Wing, when you and I have gone down to Winona or Wabaton, we stop at the Hanna's Bakery. Oh, the food is so good. Yeah. And I love what they're doing. So yeah, that's a great time to celebrate the seniors. Yeah. Hey, we are less than four days away, guys, from the fishing opener. And people are starting to get geared up and excited about this. I get it. We'll take you to Medicine Lake. I'm getting ready for the opener at Hardy's Boats and Bait in Plymouth. Yeah, it's it's time. You know, the weather looks to be a little cool. We'll show you that with the forecast. Uh, but uh, I don't think that's going to stop people from getting out there and uh, doing some things that we love the most, that fishing. We had a very steady rain falling out to the west. When you look at our WCCO Weather Watcher Network number uh, rainfall reports, boy, almost an inch at Margaret's house in Ortonville. Allen and Canby had 86 hundredths of an inch. Springfield, Dutch Place, 72 hundredths of an inch. As that rainfall was approaching the Twin Cities, it was encountering very dry air and evaporating. It's like we have a shield around the Twin Cities. Take a look at this on radar. Now, we did expect a few stronger cells to pop up this afternoon, a little instability from the daytime heating. Haven't seen anything severe out there, but you see a few pockets.